Hey, anticipated Apple spring event appears to be close and I wouldn't be surprised to see it in the first half of the month. You've been warned. Well, there's a lot of information about products that may arrive, which devices exactly are in question is still uncertain and it will remain like that until the keynote itself. Yet we can actually get answers to a few important questions. Before that, what do you want to see on this upcoming Apple presentation? Please answer in the comment section below. You know I'm all in for the iPad Pro, right? Hi friends and welcome to Digital Markings. I'm the channel's host Marco and this is your dose of latest Apple news, leaked information, tech rumors and product reviews. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button and don't forget to enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video. This one is powered by Banks. I've had an opportunity to test many of their products so far including Infinity iPad Pro Stand, Urban Pro Case with a keyboard and a trackpad, personal favorite Infinity Mac Stand for laptops, various chargers including Invisibus Max a wireless charger with hydrogel cooling and a kickstand, as well as most recent ones, three in one options like super high quality Infinity Omni, foldable juice pot, and their budget friendly on go wireless charger. Banks products feature great build quality and innovative design. Check out the link in the description and in a pinned comment. Use digital markings 15 code and get 15% off. No spaces, all capital. Now let's go. Let's start with iPad Airliner, the first time ever coming in a pair in both 12.9 and 10.9 inch variants. To simplify things to all of you who are contemplating purchase of 5th generation Air, if you've been considering smaller model, I doubt you will miss much with its newest iteration. The M2 processor will be an excellent addition to already powerful Cupertino's mid-range tablet line, sadly in many ways underutilized thanks to its software and lack of app varieties for so much power under the hood. Just ask the folks who purchased Pro Model last year, they will be able to tell you more. But in that case, you may be better with 11-inch iPad Pro with M1 if you can find one. On the other end, you can wait since it is not a lot of time till these new iPads arrive, if the leaks and rumors are true. Nevertheless, the true jewel of the latest iteration of the Air will be its bigger version. In a nutshell, this is an old iPad Pro, right? Not really, at least not the most recent one, more like the one from 2018. Leaked dimensions of both 2024 Pro and Air models have been published and guess what? Comparable to existing 12.9 inch iPad Pro, the bigger Air will be less thicker or 0.4 millimeters slimmer to be precise, which answer one very important question. There will be no mini LED on the Air. Obviously, there are some other mysteries. Will there be higher screen refresh rate, different base storage configurations, more back cameras and eventually a relocated forward-facing shooter? Not long ago, we have seen alleged renders of the bigger Air and it looks like it is still stuck with frontal camera in the portrait mode, which caused doubts, at least mine. I hope we will know more about it soon. Price-wise, I'm still hopeful that 10.9-inch version will remain $599, while I give $699 or $749 to bigger iteration. The second is iPad Pro lineup. You've heard rumors from some of the most reliable industry insiders, small visual changes, screen sizes lifted to 13 and 11.1 inch diagonal OLED displays alongside the power of M3 processor. Recently, another big question has been answered too. According to leaked lines of iOS beta code, it appears that forward-facing shooter will definitely be repositioned in a landscape mode, indirectly suggesting potential new design or relocation of Apple Pencil magnetic charger, even Apple Pencil third generation in the end of the day. I've been waiting for that thing for more than two years and tired of talking about it. Previous week, we've also seen its leaked CAD drawings with exact dimensions, which reveals bigger casing, yet thinner at the same time. This may cause a feeling of discomfort considering iPad Pro already suffered from bending through its latest iterations. But then Samsung Galaxy Tab 9 Ultra, even with its 
thinness and size doesn't have those issues. Maybe Apple done its due diligence and found a way to prevent this from happening. But what stole my attention was Smart Connector. It appears that two years old prediction about the alleged 4 pin version seems inaccurate for now. No doubts, there are still many unknowns in terms of storage, speakers, mics, back cameras, the new aluminum magic keyboard and eventual MagSafe charging. A lot of mysteries for or a product so frequently mentioned in rumors and largely expected. Its prices, however, have been the most difficult to predict, since we've heard from one side that it will go well beyond reasonable, and later we've been relieved in the form of more subtle $160 price increase, which I'm hesitant to accept, even if I would gladly. The next MacBook Air will follow the path of the MacBook Pro with M3 Class Silicon at its core. It will be welcome addition to the Air laptop lineup. MacBook Air with M1 is still a superb animal, but I'm not sure will it live another day on Apple's shelves after this year's generation though. The new Airs will come both in 13 and 15 inch editions, and truth to be told, I don't expect much from these models, just a small refresh, hopefully causing minimal holes to your pocket. Perhaps Cupertino Giant decide to keep the M2 option with 999 price tag, which means taking over over the position of existing M1 model. Could there be another product this spring? A one more thing. I'm not gonna exclude that as a possibility. If there is one device, I would probably pick a third generation HomePod, the big version. And this wouldn't be accident since we've seen leaked images of something that should be touch LCD on their smart speaker. Just check out one of my recent videos. You see, its arrival could take place as early as this quarter. Plus, few rumors are pointing at the first half of 2024 as a potential release date. And no, I doubt that Cupertino Giant will be willing to play with the price this time like they did when they unveiled the original one. Although things have changed now and we do expect a lot of AI and even city improvements. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please subscribe, slap that thumbs up and turn on all notifications. Thank you so much for watching Digital Marketing Channel. I'm Marco, talk to you soon, have an excellent day, bye.